Give thanks to God for the blessings we've got. We cordially invite you all to our Shabbat. I know you put up with those crazy years of adolescence. I know you put up with the anxiety of your children learning to drive. Why? You really wanted to get to this day. That's what it was really all about. Because I know Grandparents' Day and Special Friends' Day at our school is one of the highlights of what we do. Because grandparents and special friends like the opportunity to just sit and be over these children. Shabbat is on its way, a very special day. We gather our children here. Shabbat is almost here, everyone. Ya la 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 la. Ya la 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 la. Ya la 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 la. So it was just before Pesach, and and Katantan's family was getting the house ready for Pesach, and they were cleaning everything and getting rid of the chametz and taking boxes out of the closets, all the chametz, and they were going to put it in the garage so that they didn't have it in the house for Pesach. And Katantan, you know, Katantan's always very curious, right? Right? Okay, so Katantan was looking at, at all the chametz, all, you know, the boxes of cereal and crackers and all those things that were being put in a basket to be taken away into the garage. And he was looking and, and he was on the edge of the basket and this, guess what? He slipped into the basket and Katantan slid all the way down into the basket and he was at the bottom. Ooh, that hurt. And Katantan said, ooh, that hurts. But he was at the bottom of the basket and, and nobody saw him because he was so little. So then they picked up the basket and, and they brought it into the garage and put it up on the shelf. And they didn't know that Katantan was in the basket in the shelf. And, 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 and then they closed the garage door and he was kind of locked into the garage. And they said, oh no, what am I going to do? How am I going to get out? Because we're going to be looking for chametz tonight. And I have a feather and I have a candle. But I don't know what to do. And he 
he was thinking about what he was going to do, and just then he heard two mice in the garage talking about the breadcrumbs and the crust of bread that they had left in the closet in the house, in the back corner where no one could see it. And one mice said to the other, hey, 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 we have bread in here, but they're going all crazy clean, so we're going to wait till later and we're going we're gonna to eat the bread. Ha, ha, ha. Now, Katantan said, oh my God, I, I got to get that bread. No, Mom and Dad, they're not going to be able to find it, and only I can find it, and we can't have any comments in the house. Oh, what am I going to do? So then he started thinking, and, and he started climbing up the chametz, you know, and, and he grabbed a, a box of crackers, and, and he was climbing, and he got to the very top of the, of, of the basket, and he was sort of going like this, but then he saw in the garage there was a fishing pole leaning up against the shelf, and Katantan jumped, and he landed on the fishing pole, and he slid all the way down, and he got down onto the garage floor, and he was saying, okay, now I can get into the house. But, hmm, how am I going to get into the house? Hmm, the door is closed. I don't know. And just then somebody walked into the garage to get something else. So he ran into the house and he ran up into the closet where, where the chametz was. And he, and he was so, and he found the bread that the, ma the mice had hidden. But he was so tired that he fell asleep. So Katantan was, was sleeping because of all his adventure. He was so tired. It was like a big nap. And then it was evening and it was time to look for the chametz and so his, his, his grandma and his grandpa and his mom and his dad and they, they all got together and they were looking for Katantan but could they find him? No, they couldn't find him because they, they, they didn't know where he was because he was in the closet and so they said I guess we better start our search for chametz without little Katantan we have to because Pesach is coming so they lit the candle and they took the feather and the spoon and they started walking around and they got some crumbs and then they opened the cabinet where Katantan was sleeping next to the bread. But it was dark in the house. So they thought that Katantan was a piece of chametz. And they took the feather to sweep him up and guess what? When they touched him with the feather, what happened? He laughed. He laughed. And his mom and dad and his grandma and grandma said, Katantan, what are you doing here? And he said, I was looking for the chametz, and here it is, mom and dad. We better get rid of it because Pesach is coming. And they said, Katantan, we don't know what we would do without you. You're amazing. Thank you, Katantan. And they picked him up, gave him a lot of kisses on his little, little kepi, and a, and a hug, and said, thank you, Katantan, for finding the chametz. We would have never found it without you. So I hope that all of you guys are going to be good chametz finders in your house and get rid of all the chametz so that you can have a, a really wonderful, wonderful Pesach holiday and I hope you celebrate with all the people that you love. Shabbat Shalom everybody.